Howdy cowdies. Here's a quick little weekly walkabout at the collector. Heaps of cool stuff this week. Sale. Lots of nice china figures. Susan the little drummer girl. Look her bottom poking out. She's fantastic. Little uh, Beswick, I think. Little Jack Russell Terrier. Nice little enameled silver spoon set. All the little celluloid seven dwarfs. There's two of them there. Nice little bits of ivory. Little Dalton figure there of Maureen. <coughs> She's produced in the 1950s. Discontinued about 59. Little Beswick cat band. Some nice little bits of costume and other jewellery as well in the cabinet this week. Lovely glitzy diamante stuff up the top there in that box. Really pretty stuff. And then we've got another traffic light. Nice little bookshelf. Pretty cool old roller recording sort of thing there as well. Lovely old gramophone horn. A little collection of Stephanie Livesey pottery. Nice little bits were all Copenhagen and Bing and Grundle. And some really well made army tank models. There you go, German ones and Russian ones. Uh, they're uh, extremely well made, professionally made, I'd be saying. Amazing detail and stuff. And that's what we've got. Nice little 770 stereo system there with the speakers to go with it. Box of pants and jeans. Singer sewing machine, perfumes. Got some cool clothing. Little nurse's outfit, little military trench coat, possibly Swedish. An old 70s sort of Norwellian duffel coat. Some leather jackets and stuff. Oh, coat hangers got caught. Big brand new leather biker jacket and some motorbike leathers as well. Some cool stuff there. Box of dolls, stereo stuff. More dolls in their boxes. Tools and gear. A nice big stereo system. Some ladies hats and accessories and boots. Bottles. Cabbage Patch Kids. Boxes of tins. These are pretty cool. These are all these big envelopes with all the stamps when they're sort of issued on their first day of issue with their postmarks and stuff as well. 1988 on the front and on the back. There's three boxes and they're all chock-a-block full. Nice little stereo system there. A couple of cool school bus signs. A couple of nice old bikes. Little sort of letter sorting trays, pretty cute there. Little brown planet lamp. What else have we got? Some big lots of costumes and clothing. Nice big oriental watercolour scroll. Couple of Barbie horses. He's nice actually, little sort of washstand back. Nice big group lot, three or four boxes of china, glass and costume jewellery. Another big lot of china and stuff down the bottom there. Well, nice interesting little paintings and Graham Australian Airlines posters, pretty cool. It's a nice old chromolithograph, about 1900, give or take, in a nice original frame. Some more stereo equipment, little micro turntable, little red dial telephone, Australian pottery, some interesting stuff, some more stuff there. Mixed lots of gear in the corner, mixed lots up in the top there as well. Some amazing old Christmas decorations. Look at these. With bloody, they've got liquid in them. They've got liquid in the light globe thingies. Never seen them before. There's some other nice big lot of Christmas decorations as well down the back here. A couple of nice big lots of them. Ah, some nice old kitchen canisters. Some nice tins and boxes. They're brand new, pretty much brand new Nike Air Force One runners in their box. I got some nice paintings this week. Nice little Dick Ovenden. Graham Cox watercolours, typical and it's nice. There's a nice little thing this. A little Alex Aldridge oil painting there. Really nice little thing. And this is a cutie as well, the Rosamond Stokes, 1948. Little Assam apple blossoms, really quite a nice thing. And this is nice as well. Mabel Williams, she's a George Bell School student. Nice example. Sign lower right, painted 1950s. Good thing. Cool old movie poster there, the big one sheet starring Rory Calhoun. You could stand up all by himself. <laughs> cool old newspapers. The Gloucester Gazette from 1794. Jeez, pretty cool. There you go, they've got the Worcester Races. Some interesting articles. 
Some nice reproduction Art Deco bronzes. Little falconware Art Deco jugs, quite nice. This little thing's a bit wacky. It's like a little sort of frame that rolls along. Got little rolling wheels on the bottom. Pretty cool little thing. Put it whatever you want inside it. And we've got nice lots of Star Wars stuff and Bing and Grundle. Minton, a megaphone. Little chess set, big collection of sort of damaged china. A bottle of pen folds, 1968 or something like that. It's got some paperwork to go with it. World clock. A couple of nice little bits of carnival glass. A little Japanese tea set there's cute. Star Wars, whiskey jugs, S Club 7. Yeah, that's one of Mark's favourite bands from what I've heard. A little Dalton figure of a Spaniel. It's a great little retro domino cup and saucer. Crystal, Star Trek figures. Schrader's air pump. Pottery, glass, more pottery, more Star Wars. Interesting little frame set of stamps. A couple of nice old golf clubs. Lovely old putter in amongst there. More pottery, some cool comics. Crystal, pottery. The Geese Girl. That's a lot of 1930 stuff. Big Beswick Eagle. Some donkeys and pottery. Cows. A little Bodlington Terrier. Goes with another little woofer dog. Victorian figures, Staffordshire figures, posters, some Baragos, another collection of Victorian stuff, some more cool comics, Joe Paluca. This is great little Allen's uh, little sort of Christmas stocking sort of top. Really cool little thing. I like this little space jet space gun there with a the cool little sort of wire off the end of it there. The World News enameled signs a ripper. World Ducks. Lion, some Victorian stuff. Interesting military photographs. More S Club 7, just when you thought there was only seven of them. Some more nice bits of pottery. The little pot there is a bit of Scatterbrook pottery. What else have we got down the bottom? Cool Meccano set, some more comics. The Hooded Horseman. Little kid's phone set. More comics, wings, dolls, Star Trek. Nice little Dalton trios there with Wattle. Shorter and Son Jug, McHugh, nice little Diana, little planter there with a the Mexican with his stubborn donkey. More little bits over the back, gobles, a little couple of squirrels, butterflies, another deco style bronze, little pussy cats and crystal. Nice big Bennett's pot vat thing down the bottom there, some tribal bits, interesting book there, it's got the portraits of Clifton Pugh, some more cool comic books, The Adventures of Catman. It's pretty cool as well, the old sort of 17th, 18th century sort of vellum parchment. Nice bosun's plate over the back, shorter and sun. That blue glass vase is actually uranium glass. They did make blue uranium glass and that's an example. Don't see much of it around. Amazing big Claris Cliff Art Deco dinner set. Unusual pattern. Some nice bits of china up on the top shelf. Nice little Tuscan figure, she's a bit unusual. There's a little bit of Horrend, Dick Turpin. It's an interesting little bit of English, sort of uh, art pottery with three people in a tree. <laughs> Scott Spencer, art glass, unusual bit of tunstall over the back. Some more nice bits of pottery and Beswick and the rest. It's nice, the Dalton thing over the back. A little Worcester figurine there. The Beswick penguin family. A little Beswick or whatever it is, a little pug dog. Yeah, a little Japanese Indian chief on his horse is pretty cool. Brick Bradford comic. Beautiful German porcelain art deco figure there of a girl with a snake entwined. She's got damage on her fingers, unfortunately, but she's lovely. Big short of King Neptune. And some nice bits of Australian pottery. Yeah, I could probably show you some more stuff, but that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked, but you know, the score. If you didn't, I don't really care. <laughs> See you Thursday night.